Hi guys! Okay, um, as some of you may know, I am completely obsessed with anything to do with zombies or the undead, blood, guts, score, all that kind of stuff. Uh, stuff. Horror. Um, anyway, I've my friend told me about um, a zombie tag, which I instantly became what well, instantly wanted to do. Uh, so I went on YouTube and I YouTubed it, and I found out that Emma, Emma, two seconds. Emma Blackery and Luke is not sexy uh, created a zombie tag that I'm gonna do. So yeah, the first question is, which three YouTubers would you have in your team? Um, they both said PewDiePie, and I'm gonna have to stick with that one as well because for the exact same reasons that Luke picked, which was he's probably played a million zombie di zombie games, um, and <laughs> knows everything there is to know about zombies and could get out of any situation and be very tactic tactic tactical is that a word oh well it is now um i'd also pick dan howell <laughs> because i was watching him play horror games and he has the best reactions um and i think i would add the humoral hum hysterical funny i'm so bad with my words today uh, so he'd had a funny aspect to uh, to to the thing because obviously if the undead up roaming around and killing the living, it's not exactly going to be the happiest time of someone's life. So to have Dan with his crazy reactions to death and gore and zombies hiding behind doors is not the best thing in the world. That's my dog barking because the doorbell went. Um, my third one would probably be Emergency Awesome. I don't know why. Oh, he's a, if some of you don't know him, you should check him out. He does reviews on all sorts of TV programs and things. Um, and I'm probably going to get called in a minute. <laughs> and, yeah. And he has loads of tactical things because he does reviews of The Walking Dead. Um, and... <laughs> I can't focus today. And uh, he's he does very good predictions. And because he's very good at predicting, I thought... He could predict current situations, so like, if we're trapped in a building and he can predict what could be behind a door and the possible outcomes of that. Um, so yeah, if I'd pick him. The object immediately to your left is your only weapon. How F do you? I have my hairbrush. I mean, it's not exactly the best weapon. I have my hairbrush. A pen. That might work. A pen. But now Trunk would hold out the stab him in the skull. And a big ass mirror. Yeah. <gasps> and it spins. And look. Deception. I don't think it's going to work. Uh, so yeah. I guess I'm not too bad. I guess I kind of know what tactics to use for doing that. Okay. If you're a zombie, who would you want to bite? Hmm. There's so many people on this list. Probably my maths teacher. Because he's the most annoying person in my life at this current moment. Uh, he's setting us a bajillion pieces of homework that I'm not doing because I'm doing the video instead. So I probably should be doing my maths, but I'm not going to. In case you had noticed, half my maths book is actually just drawing things and writing things on the back of on the back pages. So yeah, I don't really do my work. I do, but I don't. <laughs> Uh, what would your survival plan be? My survival plan would probably be, probably be similar to Emma Blackery's, which was uh, find a two to three story building, uh, fill up bathtubs, buckets, anything that contain water, fill it up with water before they cut off the water supply, so it's good to drink. Um, bye! That's my mum leaving, she's going out somewhere. Um, and if you can hear that, I'm really oh. sorry. Um, oh, I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, two, three story building, filling up baths and things. Um, and yeah, oh, I forgot the next part. Oh yeah, it was destroy the staircase so zombies can't get up, but obviously you can get up because you've got the upper body strength to haul yourself up and you've got the intelligence to know how to haul yourself up. 
Okay, if you, what would you do if your parents became zombies? Honestly, I'd hate to see them in that situation, so I'd have to put them out of their misery. I'd put them down. <laughs> it's sad, I know. Do you want the zombie apocalypse to happen? Now I debate this. At nights, I have nightmares about it, and I'm scared of it. So then no. But during the day, I'm writing tact. I have a folder in one of these drawers here, fabulous drawers. Um, and in that folder I have a section full of detailed drawings of my school, my house, the neighbourhood, um, rules to follow, all sorts of things like that to follow and things. So yeah, <laughs> I think I'd be pretty alright with the zombie apocalypse to happen. So I know exactly what I'll be doing. So yeah, that's my zombie apocalypse tag. I don't think Dan and Phil have done it, so I'm going to tag Dan, Howell, Phil Lester, I don't know if they're going to see this. Uh, PewDiePie, um, Emergency Awesome, uh, any other YouTuber, anybody, anybody who watches this video. Oh, and Chloe Sibley, I tag you to do this as well. I will leave the questions in the description below. And yeah, that's it. So, bye for now, girls. Gu girls? Guys? Guys? You could be guy, you could be girls. How do I know? Yeah, through this little lens. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go now before I scare people. Bye!